garden centre, you're not quite sure which of these beautiful plants to buy. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery on how to choose a clematis. Clematis are a fabulous plant for the summertime garden. In Europe, there's a marvelous trend where they're using them as ground covers. They're not putting them on fences, they're not putting them on stakes. They're actually letting these wonderful plants wander through the perennial beds and through the woody ornamentals. So choosing a clematis is really easy. Don't get confused by all the varieties out there. If you're in the garden center and you need some help, ask the local gardening expert. They're always thrilled to impart with their local knowledge because they really know what they're talking about. So just a, a couple of plants which are with us today. These are the Viticellia varieties and a lot of these are actually named after French nurserymen's wives. They have names like Etowel Violet, which is this beautiful looking plant here, Julia Coravon. And then there's the straight white one, which is called Alba. Why doesn't she have a more exciting name? There's a marvelous ground cover variety, which is called Blue Sapphire. And then some of the large flowering varieties are called the President. There's a great series called the Vancouver series, Fragrant Star, Starry Nights, Danielle. These are great, great plants. Evergreen varieties, uh, Armandii, which is very, very fragrant and one of my own personal evergreen favorites, Avalanche. And she's called Avalanche. She blooms very early in the spring, very small dark green leaves, and the flowers just cascade down like an avalanche. Always look for a healthy plant. Look for a plant that's just looking good. If she doesn't look healthy, chances are there's a problem. So look for something like this in your garden center. So now you've really got to get your wallet out because you've seen some beautiful selections and ideas. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery on how to choose a clematis.